you know, some people are good at science, you know, chemistry, physics, some people are excellent in mathematics. But overall, the children of Adam, peace be upon Adam, our intelligence is limited. So, so when I get the question, well, the Creator Allah is uncreated, but how? I mean, I would like to say that how am I supposed to know? But what is more important to understand is that one thing is very clear that the Creator Allah is uncreated and supernatural and or the Creator Allah is supernatural and uncreated. That's a fact. You, you cannot actually, den you, you cannot deny that. No one can deny that because then you are not thinking logically. You know, the, the brain and the mind that we have been given by the Creator Allah, at least we can understand what I have just said. So let me, you know, uh, explain further. You see, you have to have someone who is uncreated and supernatural and or someone supernatural or uncreated, yes, yeah, supernatural, meaning of supernatural, someone who is beyond the laws of physics, someone uh, who is beyond outside the understanding of science, yeah, and therefore someone, we have to have someone who is uncreated and supernatural to begin creation and that someone is the creator Allah. For argument's sake, if someone says the question, for example, there is no creator, in that case there should be absolutely nothing, nothing at all. But that is not the case because we can see, you know, creation all around us, visible and invisible. So, so again, if someone, the question, someone asks the question, um, infinite number of universes, uh, but the problem with the infinite number of universes is, is uh, the issue with infinite regress, and infinite regress again means there's no a starting point, there is no uh, a point of beginning. Therefore, again, uh, the, you know, the infinite, uh, infinite regress means uh, no starting point, no point of beginning, and therefore nothing. There should be absolutely nothing. Again, again, that's not the case. And so, then the result, the outcome, the logical understanding is this, that we have to have someone who is necessary, you know, a necessary being, yeah? Uh, therefore, someone who is uncreated and supernatural, to begin creation and that is that is the creator Allah and I hope this particular talk you know clears things in people's minds who have doubts in regards to is there a creator or there isn't a creator like I said one thing is clear the creator is a fact the creator Allah is a fact because you have to have someone who is uncreated and supernatural to begin creation and that someone is the creator Allah. Also some scholars would refer as the necessary being. The necessary being is the creator Allah. The meaning of the word Allah is the one who deserves all worship, also the one who created you, me, and the entire existence, all that, all that exists, uh, visible and invisible, material and immaterial, inside the limited multiverse and outside the limited multiverse, and or uh, perhaps and probably other dimensions and so forth. So, coming back to 
you know, I would like to, you know, talk a little further in regards to, like I said, my intelligence is limited, your intelligence is limited, everyone's intelligence is limited. No matter how, no matter what IQ you have, you know, uh, 225, 275, I mean, uh, someone with a 225 would be a, a, known as a genius and would be probably able to solve a lot of mathematical equations. Even then, it's limited. You get me? It's 225. It's not like the IQ is, you know, 2 billion and 1, if you know what, what I mean. You see my point? Our intelligence is limited. And so, you know, trying to, you know, be... What I'm saying is there is no point obsessing over, well, the Creator Allah is uncreated and supernatural, but how? You know, this but how, there is no point obsessing over how, but how. Like, how is the Creator Allah uncreated? There is no point obsessing over this, because what we all should focus on what we sh what we all should understand which is more important is that it is a fact that the creator Allah is uncreated and supernatural because you have to have someone who is uncreated and supernatural to begin creation and that is the Creator Allah. I know I have um, repeated myself, but that is because of uh, emphasis. Repetition helps you learn better, and repetition is a tool in uh, educational psychology. Yes, and the repetition is a tool in education. Uh, I am an educator, I am a teacher by profession. And my name is Muhammad Raj Abdullah. I have written many books. Some of the books, uh, sorry, one book in particular, What is Permanent Success? You can go to Amazon and buy it. And I have written e-articles such as Evolution True or False, You Decide. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you soon.